First at 530 for the first time on TV. You're going to get an up close and look a personal look at a rocket that's being tested in just a few years time. That NASA Artemis program will be sending astronauts back to the moon, or at least that's the plan. Our Tyler Fingered live at the Stennis Space Center over in Mississippi and Tyler. There's a lot of excitement there. Yeah, there is Byron. America is betting big on the Artemis core stage rocket. Currently, it's sitting on the B testing stand about a mile from where I am uh, right now, just outside the gates of the Stennis Space Center. Take a look. They just put it on the stand about three weeks ago. This is where the rocket will go through rigorous testing to make sure that it is worthy to fly and that astronauts will safely get into orbit. It is the future of space flight. There was a lot of excitement here at Stennis Space Center for this because workers here say a test of this magnitude hasn't happened in decades. Our folks have been working for six hard years to get this test stand ready for this test. And this will be my first multi-engine flight hardware stage test in my 28 years of working at a rocket test center. So if the excitement doesn't show through, then I'm, you're missing something. To get closer to NASA's goal of the first woman and next man on the moon by 2024, Stennis still has a lot of tests to do. The most notable one will include firing all four of the engines at the same time, which will happen at the end of July or August. The eventual goal with the program is to get to Mars, but that still is a few years away. We're live at Stennis Space Center in Mississippi. Tyler Finger, Fox 10 News.